Yo, what's going on everybody? Thank you for checking back in. For those of you who are new, my name is Dave with Diversity Print. Uh, real quick, we're going to try and make this as, as a short video as possible. It may get a little long as always. But um, this is a, a, a document binder. Uh, this is the Fastback 15XS. So we're going to just show you how to use it in case you have one, in case you're looking for one. Who uses binded books anymore? Everything's online, but there are uh, certain places that still use uh, binded books. So a binded book like this one uh, will be this here on the edge. You see that? And basically you have different sizes. You have your narrow, which is probably what this one was made with. Yeah, that was narrow with this binder and then you have your medium and then you have your wide okay and then you have other ones different colors and stuff like that so I think we're going to use the narrow but the machine will tell you what to put in there because it will figure out how wide the book is going to be how many pages you put in there and so it'll say on here what kind of strip that you're gonna put and basically if you haven't messed up the, the binder or you get it and it's intact and everything the basic instructions are right here anyway so anyway the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure our paper that we're gonna to want to bind is I printed this out so I can just have on hand in case I don't have internet connection or I don't have my phone on me so I kind of want this booklet just to have and it has little maintenance things back here in the back that I can fill out and stuff like that. So um, make sure your stuff is set correctly and then you can stack it here. This is a little stacker here. You can put your stuff as waiting and then we're going to turn it on. We're going to turn it on. It may take about just depends on your environment it may take 15 minutes to heat up uh, once it heats up uh, this slot here will open and then we'll stick our, our paper inside uh, so uh, we'll have it here ready so it stays flat and then we'll transfer it to the section right here and we'll get you close in in a little bit but anyway there's a uh, on the little screen it's just a basic little probably like a 20 character uh, screen and right now it just says warming up okay so um, you know I can see if I can get you in there to see okay all right so uh, we'll be back when it warms up okay so <clears throat> it beeped now the screen says ready to bind okay and the compartment opened up the compartment opens up at a narrow width first and if your book is is too fat you can use the open button which is the far one on the left and it has two little arrows facing away which means it's to open the opening right here uh, and so you'll just press that button and it'll open it up pretty much all the way I believe I don't think it does like in steps I haven't really used that feature uh, because I haven't had like large, you know, hundreds of pages to bind. Uh, I just do small ones like this, maybe 10, 20, 40 pages or so. And they all have been using the, the narrow strip. Now we're going to go ahead and put this in here. And we're going to put the side that we want to bind on the bottom. Make sure you see that. Once you um, have it straight and you push it to the to the right don't keep your hands in there or you're gonna get smushed okay maybe you can hold the top of the book like this but don't keep your hand in there because uh, you're gonna want to press this button next and so we'll go ahead and press it it's closed it and so now it says insert narrow okay I'll have you guys see that you can see that right there insert narrow all right so these strips uh, you have narrow, medium, and wide, right? You have different colors. I just chose this blue because that's what I have loose right now. I don't want to open any boxes. Uh, so on the strips, there should be a glue gap. I believe it's what they call it. 
Uh, if you have glue all the way to the end on one of these, on one side it should have a gap and I don't know if you can see that gap right there on the top that's a glue gap and you want to insert that into the uh, the strip guide here first so I don't know if I can do this without being in those way detection error so pull it back out we're going to enter the narrow strip again. Detection error. Uno más. Well, this is a narrow. Let's try a green one out the box. Let's put that to the side. Ooh, this is multiple. Make sure you don't put multiples on there. Okay, got the glue gap. There it goes. You saw that, how I just sucked it in. I don't know what was wrong with this strip. It's not used or anything. Now it says super strip. That's it. You seem to go through the whole process. Now it says remove book. Okay. So now we remove our book. And there it is. Right to the top. Right to the bottom. Look at that. Okay, this is why you have margins on your paper so that it won't it won't cut off the letters or anything like that as you can see all right is now binded okay and this is why you have margins again so it doesn't cut off anything on the edges there's a nice little bind right there all right so that's pretty much it now you're ready to bind again. It says on the screen ready to bind. You will put your next book in. Your next book will probably be sitting right here. Uh, so you'll just take this. Okay. You can probably give it a couple more, you know. And then put it in there. To the right. Press the button. And then it's going to measure the thickness. Uh, if you're putting a bigger book after a thinner book, you may need to press the open button. Don't forget. That's what this button is for. And it will open it. So that you can fit that book in there press the button it'll close it it'll determine the width and it'll tell you what strip to put in there so pay attention to that screen okay if it tells you to put a medium you put a medium if it tells you to put a wide put a wide if a narrow put a narrow and that's it and then so you just slide it in as you can see this one was having issues uh detecting it i don't know why but anyway i got a green one from the box this was actually this was in a box so I don't know why it wasn't detecting it you can just try a different strip and that's it anyway if you have one of these leave a comment down below Powers Parker Fastback 15 XS and um, let me know you know do you guys still use this in the 2020s <laughs> uh, there are places that still use these things so um, I don't know a lot some people are old school but some people have like churches uh, you know binding like uh, little pamphlets and stuff like that they still use that type of stuff you know uh, schools and little, little libraries and stuff like that they still use this type of stuff right uh, your everyday business and you know boutiques and all that everything's gonna be online scan your QR code and whatnot but uh, anyway there's still these use for this It's not entirely obsolete yet uh, but you know anyway hopefully you enjoyed the video if you like to give it a thumbs up uh, share it if you know somebody who has one of these and maybe it'll help them out uh, we'll go through the maybe later on we'll go through the edit functions uh, there is an edit function that's this button right here next to it uh, basically it heats up the glue and then you can take out your page maybe you put two pages or maybe you forgot a page 
so you can edit the bind. It'll heat up the glue, loosen it up, and you can peel it out and go and rebind it and stuff like that. So, you know, maybe we'll do one of those later on. Uh, I just want to do a quick one just to get uh, the content because I've been wanting to do this for a while. So for this for this binder, uh, have a hope you're having a good day printing. We'll talk to you next time. Until then, peace.